Okay, I'm doing a little recording on how to install the YAG mod. Um, what you do is, when you finish downloading um, the file, you extract all the contents into another folder. What I did was I made a YAG Minecraft on my desktop and I extracted it. What's going to come inside the folder is this, 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 and um, that, and that. I don't think the installer is going to be in there because that comes after you you um, install it. Now I've already installed it and I'm uploading a video now of my first impression of this mod. Um, it's going to be in two parts and it's uh, an extra long video because I can upload longer than 15 minutes. Anyway, okay, so you take your Yogbox installer once you extract it. And I saw a lot of posts on the boards where people who are, didn't have the folders or all confused. First, you got to take that WinRAR file. And if you don't have WinRAR, Google it, download it, install it, um, and open that uh, file with, with uh, WinRAR. So you'll click on the jar, and the jar will open this window. And you go ahead and you hit next. Now, this time, I am not going to put in Millionaire, and I'm not going to put in Mo Creatures. And I don't think I'm going to do that one either. I'm going to just go ahead and, uh, well, maybe Sky Pirates because it lags so bad so I'm just gonna do these a uh, couple of these I also put in a new Minecraft um, what I did was I depending on which type of Minecraft I'm playing if I'm gonna be testing maps or whatnot this is with mods this is with Mo Creatures mod you can see my desktop right here this is without the mods and now this is the other Yog mod um, with the Yog box in it so I got three different Minecrafts and depending on which one I want to play that's the one that I, I grab and I put this back into um, the roaming folder. And this is on your on your um, in your Windows Explorer. If you cannot see these folders, because some of these are uh, they won't let you see the files or the folders, you go to Tools and Folder Options, and then you click on View and you uncheck because usually um, this is checked. Don't show hidden files and folders, and hide empty drives and all this crap it tells you to hide 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 uncheck these and then show hidden files or folders and drives and then OK and then you'll be able to see every single file you have in here it just shows you um, uh, if we can get in um, windows can show you well I don't have I don't see the windows folder but uh, nonetheless you'll be able to see stuff that you normally wouldn't see and which might be this app data folder I'm not sure but anyway what you do is the way I do it is once I'm done with this this Minecraft and this one is going to be without millionaire so normally I'll just go ahead and uh, make a new folder on the desktop and um, um, okay so we do it without my whoops it'd be nice if we spelled it right okay and then after after this is all set up and done um, which is going to do right here in a second it's going to unpack it so we're waiting and installing the core mods because it, even though it doesn't show you all the mods there are more mods in here and there's a list in this file um, credits right here this is a list of everything that's in this um, in this um, pack okay so if you open up the credits you'll see all the things now the other ones you have to have so they didn't give you an option of saying no or, or yes so the only thing that you can check or uncheck are the five uh, mods inside that window of this um, Yogbox installer and uh, you you basically wait till it installs the core data and once that's done then you fire up your Minecraft and you play it and um, like me what I'll do is once I'm done um, playing this and seeing how it goes I will take this Minecraft folder the entire folder and slide it into this folder right here and then oop, 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 it's almost done and then um, if I want to play the one that I started the other day which I'm uploading right now and it's gonna take forever and a damn day 109 minutes um, but it's a 42 minute long video so that's pretty cool alright it's finished okay so it's done so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and see and uh, we'll get us logged in here real quick um, I hope it's uh, okay we're gonna create a world and this is gonna be Yogbox 2 Yogbox 2 but we're gonna also because I did like 
what the other world looked like. So it was a snowy biome and there was really no trees in this one little area. There's a lot of flat grass. So I'm going to see if it's as laggy as it was. Now I'll probably have to reset um, the sound and all that so bear with me. And I should um, I should turn this off and then put it back on. I hope I'm not going to appear in it. Oh great, I forgot to put um, I forgot to uh, put my uh, mini map. That's another thing. Uh, if you want your mini maps and all, and, and if you have a mini map, if you're using the mini map, you want to um, normal or view bobbing off. Now, I don't know what the view bobbing is going to do, but it's, oh yeah, this is much better than it was yesterday when I did this. Ooh, no, I still got a little, little teeny weeny bit of uh, of lag, but it's a hell of a lot better than uh, it was. Now, um, I don't have too many items in here, so I kind of screwed this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to install. Well, I could do that now, um, actually. I can pause this real quick, and I can show you how to do those as well. Um, where the hell are my mods? There we go. Okay, so these are all my mods, and what I do is you take the single player commands, and you and this is WinRER, by the way, okay? So you take all your files, so you click on the top one, hold down uh, shift, and then click on the bottom one. And then you leave that there, and then you go all the way back up into here, and you go into this Minecraft. This is your current one that you're playing in the app data, okay? You go into the bin folder. Now, normally, you would want to save this, just in case. So you copy it, and then you m just make a new folder. Too many items, TMI. Okay, so now you put your jar in there. So you paste it in there. So in case this screws up for whatever reason, you'll have your jar backed up. Okay, now you open up this Minecraft jar and you wait till that little notice comes up, and then you just take the files over here, left click and hold, and slide them into this. And then say okay. Well oh, oh yeah, it would help if I shut Minecraft down. See, it's good that I have these little errors. Alright, go away. Alright, let's do that again. Here we go. Alright, so that worked. So that's too many items. Now you also have to do the world edit jar. So you have to extract this to your bin folder. So you do, well, you can either do it this way and locate your bin folder this way. You can go into here and then go down to your users and then you and then your app data, your roaming, Minecraft, bin folder. And you can extract it right there. Or you just drag it. You can left click it and drag it right into the bin folder. But here it is, right there. World edit. Now you also have to take this is done. Let me see which what do we got here? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go down here. And you still have the Minecraft jar open. So depending on what other mods you want to add in here, as long as they're compatible um with each other and these are. They're all compatible. Whoops. Okay, so this is um this is the too many items, and again, drag them and drop them. You don't need to extract them, don't need to do anything. Okay, now, SCP, SCP paint, this is a great one. You can paint blocks. Okay, now, too many, uh, ultimate. Now, the ultimate fist is a little tricky. It comes with a one folder. Normally, you would say, oh, okay, uh, this is the ultimate fist, and then you would take the files in this folder and then drag them into your, mo your thing. That's a, a common problem. You need to do it three times. So you get down to the LC folder and the classes, and then you just drag them in there, and you say, okay. And now, I'm also going to put Zan's minimap. Now, I don't need mod loader, and I don't need... Um, whatever else is required because it's already in here in this mod it's it's included with um, the Yogcast mods okay so now we have all our mods put into our minecraft jar so we can close all our windows and then we can get minecraft back up and we'll just log in there we go and then we'll go to single player and then we'll play this world and then here we go oh yeah I forgot to do that Alright, so now we want to see our display coordinates, and we don't want the welcome screen. Now you can also put waypoints on those too. But, don't do that. Okay, so, it is, it's slightly laggy, slightly laggy. I'm about 23 FPS in here, but, um, oh, hold on a second. Ay, 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 controls, controls. I 
hate when it does this. You, I hope you fix that in a future um, update. Okay, so this is too many. This is what too many items looks like. And if I enlarge this screen, <laughs> it's gonna crash. It did that to me yesterday. Okay, so here's your little pistons, and um, here's your fossils. So you can actually make your own fossils if you want. Here's the uh, here's the piston, and you can turn the oops. You can turn the pistons. Well, the other one, there we go. I think I'm lagging a little bit. Um, but anyway, you can turn these pistons um, however which way you want. And uh, the mistake I made on the other one was I saw my ultimate fist, and it may be, uh, here it is. It wasn't where I normally see it, so yeah, this is still a little laggy, so I might have to take all that other stuff off. But um, yeah, now, the coolest thing about this mod is, I think, is these explosive arrows. Oh my freaking god, I was having a blast. I wouldn't necessarily use the homing bow because that bow is just nasty. It it zeroes in on everything. So if you have a computer that can actually handle millionaire and um and um and the mo creatures and all that, then go ahead and uh use that but here's what happens when you use the explosive I was um, showing Pam this world yesterday and I decided to test out the explosive arrows and basically <laughs> that's what you can do with the explosive arrows they are so freaking cool I wish I had known about this when I was on my world 6 and I started um, having to take down all the big buildings to get uh, or rather the big uh, um, hills and mountains to get the big buildings in. Now you can go... Now I don't know if it's in here or not, but there was a, like a... It was all watery. Um, there was tons and tons of ice in this thing. So, we're gonna go down and see. Now I don't know if that was um, because of Millionaire or not. Might be the um it might have been one of the mods that I didn't put in. Nope, it's here. Okay, so hold on. Alright, let me uh let me get these torches up and I can show you what it looks like in here. Okay, this is a it's like a winter wonderland in this place. I don't know which mod does it. But these are the coolest freaking things ever. The whole place is filled with... Ooh. Oh yeah! So I wonder what gives me the score then. Alright, now what you wanna do... I mean, this, this could revolutionize mining. <laughs> is there something below me? I don't know. A little bit more, a little bit more. Wow, this is a big tall one, ain't it? Ooh. There we go. I mean, I'll just play it just for this, man. To be blowing shit up. This is so Simon's mod. Seriously, TNT and a bow? I mean, I don't know what else can say Simon better than this mod. I don't know which one it is because I want it though. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah! Did I get 200 credits in his ass? And you can break it. Um, this this stuff. The whole the whole freaking dungeon is um looks like this. Only in innards of this dungeon are. I can't put this down. Ooh, this is probably what's causing the lag. This mod right here. But isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and look. Oh my lord. Now that was probably regular water. That uh, shot into it. 
I am just in love with this this arrow mod. Um, so I'm gonna have to just go ahead and get this one because I do know this is part of one of the the mods that I don't like. like the guy who made the shelf mod. Woo. Well. Ah yeah. I think he's blowing up the lava too. Yep, it's blowing up the lava. Oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, okay, so this was basically supposed to be a video to um, help you install it. So if you want to see all the rest of the stuff in this mod, um, go ahead and um, watch the video, um, the first impression of this mod, the Yog Box mod. And uh, that's that's the one I have. I do have Millionaire and um, I do have more creatures on that one. Um, I do think it's probably all that ice underneath the ground that's causing all this lag. So they may want to take that one out or fix it because yeah this is way too laggy because it's it's running almost a little decently and I'm wondering if this is the one with the uh, the chest in it too because it was treasures there's little treasure yep yeah, no 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 there's little treasure boxes in the sand yesterday when I was shooting at the sand found a bunch of treasure so yeah, hopefully when the, uh, yep, there was a box here. Anyway, they give you a bunch of goodies if you, if you happen to locate them. Um, but yeah, once the, hopefully when the forums are back up, I'll be able to go to the URLs of each of these mods and find out the ones that I actually like, and I'll just go ahead and install them my, on myself rather than um, using this Yog box. Although this is great, and it's, it would be excellent on a computer that it can handle it. Unfortunately, my quad core 1. I think 8 uh, GHZ can't ha handle it. So there you have it. Um I'm going to stop this now and I'll see you later.